Yet more perfume puzzles. Haha, <laughs> Mew Mew. Ooh, there's a sample. Alive. What's this one? Oh, this is from Boss. Alive. Okay, nice. Got a sample. So this is Mew Mew, and this is supposed to be an iris. Uh, perfume and apparently every woman should have iris in her perfume wardrobe so i bought mew mew <laughs> i'll be perfectly honest and say that i forgot that i had bought this this was kind of like a um, impulse purchase i think i was watching jeremy fragrance and he was talking about long-lasting perfumes and this he mentioned is a long-lasting perfume and so far Four out of the five perfumes that I have bought based on Jeremy Fragrance recommendations have been good. So I thought, why not? Let me try it. The bottle also looks really cute. But there we go. How adorable is that? So adorable. Okay, let's try it out, shall we? I think that this is possibly the cutest little bottle. I've come across very different and very unique, almost like a piece of modern art. I like it. This almost looks like a lollipop, like I could lick a lollipop. Um, but yeah, so this was considered a white floral and that's why I bought it because it's supposed to be a white floral and it's got Lily of the Valley. <laughs> so I have a garden and I love gardening um, and I love flowers. So... A lot of what attracts me when I read the notes has to do with some of the flowers that I have in my garden. I do have, um, I have some lilies, some lily of the valleys in my garden as well. They're so adorable. They don't smell particularly nice <laughs> because they just have these big chunky leaves. And so they're great um, in terms of adding greenery to the garden. But the flowers are like really tiny and I've never really stopped to smell the act actual teeny tiny little flowers of lily of the valley you get the big gigantic lilies that throw out their scent and it's like a really uh, very uh, punchy fragrant aromatic musky smell but yeah so i'm curious to see what this is going to smell like so the top nose is supposed to be lily of the valley bergamot and lemon so Expecting something citrusy there. And then the middle notes are rose, jasmine, and black currant. I have some black currants. I have some roses. I have some jasmine. So it'll be interesting to see how those uh, match up. And they're supposed to be peach as well. Although whenever I've tried anything that has peach, I've never found anything that actually smells like peaches. So I did grow, I grew up around peach trees. And then the base notes is something that I've never come across before. It's called Akigala Wood. I'm not even sure what that is. Is that a tree? Is that a synthetic molecule? I'll have to do the research on that. And then instead of musk, this one has got white musk. Most of the perfumes that I've tried before, they've had musk and sandalwood. So it'll be interesting to see what this one's like. So let's try this, shall we? Okay, got my little paper to try it on. Oh, that's the problem with fancy bottles, isn't it? Because you never know. Oh, there we go. That's how the cap comes off. Okay. I'm not getting anything off the bottle, so we're going to have to spray it. Oh, good control on the atomizer. I could easily control how much uh, to come out and how fast. Ooh, wee. Oh, talk about flower bomb. This, it's like an immediate, whew. It's a very strong floral. The musk is quite sweet. This sort of, it's a little bit, I don't want to say old fashioned. I, I'm immediately being transported back to being very young and being around um, there's these women who had something that's like a women's institute. Um, so being around elderly women this is what this is reminding me of. But it's, uh, that's the memory that I have of it. It's quite, mm, it's clean. It's a clean fragrance. I'm not getting too much. Um, 
I don't know if this is how Lily of the Valley is supposed to smell. I'm finding it very hard to pick out specific notes uh, from this. All I'm getting is um, this overall lovely floraliness, but not a sharp floraliness um, that I get from, say, something like your Britney Spears private show. It's and it's not a it's not soup it's not sweet. I wouldn't call this sweet. It doesn't smell very sweet to me. But it's a very interesting one. I'm I I don't feel like this is a very dainty sort of perfume. So there's some fragrances that I smell and I immediately feel like ooh mm, 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 mm. I'm not getting that with this. I'm feeling more genteel, more ladylike, uh, which is why I'm saying it reminds me of these ladies that used to run the Women's Institute that I used to go and buy a fudge from when I was a kid. So I guess it's a classic fragrance. I know, but I still love the bottle. I will still keep it just for the bottle. And I am looking forward to trying this in spring and summer. So that's Mew Mew by the house of Mew Mew. I gather that this was their first uh, perfume, but at least I now have a white floral that I can play around with and try. And now when I'm testing white florals, I'll be testing them against this one. So that's Mew Mew. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and uh, like the video and follow along with my perfume madness. Mm -hmm.